Hi friends, using Pandas data frame, we will try to uh, develop a JSON string or a JSON formatted output. Now for that, we will first import Pandas as PD. Now we will create a dictionary. My dictionary is this is the with some sample data of course. So we will say first, uh, let us say name name now inside this is a list now i'll say alex now ravi this is a sample data we are taking now we'll say id key value pairs so id <coughs> will say one two three now in the subject we'll say math sorry it should be a string a math uh, this marks will say three subject two subjects you will take say 50 now 36 now 45 fine one more subject will take will say English now in this say I'll sorry not required 50 now 48 49 I know that's all my dictionary is ready now I'll create a data frame using out uh, this so df is equal to pd dot data frame now my data is taken from my dictionary so this dictionary i use to create the data frame i just want to check it once so how my data frame works just this time i am running yeah this data frame is here now instead of directly using a data frame i will now i will create a json string so i'll say to json i will i can just uh, generate the string or i can write to a file let's go and generate a string first this is the string whatever it is so json string is developed now we'll say we will store it in a location or in a file so i can create a json file for that so i am storing it in d drive my data is my directory file name is my file dot json so this is the file now it will create let's see that yeah it must have been created there is no error message let's me just go there you can see my file is json file is uh, type is json it is created you can just open it and see inside what it is so now we'll explore various options we'll explore now various options so in this We'll remove this. We'll let us uh, take a printout here itself, or the, let the string be out. We'll first explore orient. Now, this is uh, this will tell what way the JSON format output will be, the format of the uh, string. So we'll say first split. So let's see this. This is one way of uh, one format. So columns name like that. Now this split value we can change it to records. So let's say how this looks, records. Is another format so this is the record now uh, one more let's say index this is the default format if I don't give anything then this format will be taken this is the index format now let's say columns so this is the column format you can see your name ID each column is there now one more is values values let's say let's see how it is yeah Alex only values are there no nothing your names are not there okay fine so now one more is there table so let's see how we how this format is this is the table format schema fields all details are there so this is the table format we'll explore more now we'll try to collect data from mysql database and display a json string using that data so let's first connect to the database now it is not necessary that only the mysql can be used there are eight different sources from which we can take data from a uh, like from a excel or a csv file or sim from a html table also so we can take data and from different sources and create a data frame once a data frame is created then we can easily uh, produce a json string or what that we have done already so let's uh, 
this is where my sample table of student is there you can download the sql dump and try so this is what i am using sql kemi create engine to connect to my sql database so first i will try sql once variable i am creating i will select uh, some records select star sorry some star from table name is student but there are around 35 uh, 40 records are there i don't want that many records to come let us say start from 0 10 records only will we want so this sql will uh, uh, execute and get our data frame so our data frame equal to pd now we'll use the read sql so this is where i will be applying my sql to the my connection is uh, connection string this sql string i have just declared it here the query and my connection is my connection string so with this the data frame will be created after that it is same only what i will do in to make it simple it is just df to json that's all so i will say df to json that's all so this line uh, will generate json string for me and beyond this this is what i am using for my uh, collecting records from my database now if it is a excel suppose i can collect it from excel also so this part only will change this last line will remain same so let's run this and see how the json string is something is wrong here let's see what i what mistake it is uh, limit select star from student oh yeah i missed one i here find find here l i m i t okay let's run this yeah you can get it 10 records let's let's uh, slightly reduce it four records only will take run this again okay four records so i am getting it here so this is how i you take it data from a mysql now let's take it from a excel inside my d drive my data directory i have a student file so i'll just open this for you so you can see there are four, four or five columns this is my student uh, and you can see there are records are there i will read data from this student file and display json string first i will create the data frame by reading the excel file so i will use read excel now i'll give the path d my, my data now the file name was student.xl this is the file what i have to read now my data frame is ready now what i will do i will simple take it out df to json so the string will output it let's see how much how it looks yeah this is the total json string using the data from xls file or excel file next we'll move to a csv file i don't have a sample csv file for this uh, demo so what i do i'll do i'll create a sample file this data i'm taking student data taking from mysql database instead of a json string i will just write it here csv and give the path to that so uh, what i am doing is i am just create the inside my data i am drilling student dot csv so that's all let's create that that will create a sample file for me now let me just check up here yeah student csv is created i can just open it okay there are only one two three okay four records are there so because i have in the limit command we have restricted to four now let's go back again and uh, see that what uh, what we can do to generate the uh, or write the csv file what i will do i will, I will just copy this code paste it here now i know this is a csv so instead of read excel i will say read csv this is another method so student csv fine that's all so let's uh, two json so let's run this we'll just scroll up a bit 
yeah let's run this yeah you can see only four records we have so that's the json output so like that from different different sources we, there can be a uh, from a html table or for a tab separate value from any other various sources we can take data once the data frame is created we can generate the string